Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Two and one show today. Uh, be the tight, Ryan. Appreciate yeah, you taking your time out, mate. Uh, so yeah, two in one show. Uh, we'll just touch apart Conor McCarthy going out on launch Swindon. I mentioned in a video last week, I think it was, when all rumours were starting about. So yeah. he's gone on loan for a season there. Yeah. All being well, Ryan, he can get some minutes under his belt because it's an area, it were a bit of a weeding. It's an area that we like, can see that we're lacking. Uh, but Conor yeah. McCarthy come back from a bad injury, didn't he? He's made some cup games, but gone out on loan. Yeah, he's had, I mean, he's had a really bad injury, and he's, he's had, he's, you know, he's had a good year out there and thereabouts. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's been out for a good, and I actually thought he made a really good start for us. I was really impressed with him. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's certainly got an attacking side to his game. So I, I, I genuinely I feel for him because I thought I thought he played really well for us before he got injured, and for whatever reason, it's a different manager now. He's not really been given a chance at first team, um, apart from odd um, Pizza Cup or whatever it's called now, Bristol Street Motors Cup. Mm. Um, and you know, considering we've needed a, a right centre back, you know, right sided mid, a right sided centre back, sorry, and, and he's he's proceeded to play Williams in that position for all that time, rightly or wrongly, probably wrongly, but he's not used him. And we've actually gone out and bought another one. We, you know, we've actually gone out and signed Donovan Pines. <clears throat> um, so. He's clearly out of, you know, he's he's not certainly not in Neil Collins's mind to to even get on bench at minute. So, whatever's going on behind closed doors, we don't know. But I'm I'm pleased for the lad that he's going to go out and get some football because I think he's a really decent footballer. So, mm. yeah, it's I, th I think I think it's best for both parties, mate. I think. Yeah, all being well, it's you know he can come back and do a job for Barnes. If not, then at least he's back playing football after like you said that bad injury. We're out yeah, here, yeah. Uh, so. You know, first and foremost, all being well, he, he, he can fall in love back with football and get match, uh, match, uh, some matches it. under his belt. Going back to Carlisle game, then, uh, Ryan, definitely a game of two halves. This one, mate. Uh, first half, we're lucky, you know, we want three, four, and out down with so many chances, mate. But we tend to be yeah. like we're standing him on the plate, won't we? Yeah, and, and should have been three or four down in the first 15 minutes. I think that was as, as worse than half as I've seen for. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a while, mate, since mm. we played that poorly. It were really, really bad. We just seem to have absolutely no idea what we're going on. Just from first them minute, all the time. you know, as well as as well as Jack. Shepard, apart from a couple of mistakes against Bristol, I thought Jack Shepard had a good a good outing against Bristol. Um, but you know that that inexperience and 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 the young head on his shoulders, you know, really showed the other night when he made a mistake in first minute. And I, I really feel for the lads at the times because it is really difficult. You've got thousands of people on your back. You know, you're trying your best and you know you've made a mistake and you're trying to rectify it and you go and make another. And before you know where you are, you, you know, you, you're, you're proper struggling. And I think that really should. And, and that's where experience kicks in, isn't it? Are we missing um, a strong character and a strong leader at back to I hope so, mate. So and I, like I said, I really like him, Jack. He's a, mm. he's a big lad. He, you know, he, when, he, when he does play well, when he's playing confidently, he looks, he looks a player. And certainly one like certainly one to be in the coming years is going to be he's going to be his stalwart for Barnsley. But you know, he made that mistake the other night with um let it ball bounce and he missed he missed just the bounce, mm. it went straight over and striker in behind him. Luckily, Liam Roberts made a great save. Then the one where he crossed it across the area, yeah. And he was supposed to be passing it back and he passed it straight to the attacker. Don't know how he missed, but he missed. Mm. Um and, and and constantly him and him and De Givney at the back just giving balls away all the time. De Givney needs to wear longer studs. How many times? He's like it's like I say it's like watching a piss head on on on, a, on an ice skating ring. He keeps mm. falling over all time. Last two games, I don't know if he's changed his boots mm. or what. But against Bristol again, he's all over the place. He keeps falling over. Yeah, and giving ball away. But I don't just want to say you know obviously Liam Roberts gave ball away for their goal. Bad mistake, you know what I mean. But I can not not wanting to judge one player over another. He he saved us a lot of times this season, so I can, you know, I can probably give him that one. To be fair, the amount of times he's pulled off absolutely amazing saves where it should have been a goal, mm. I can probably I could probably forgive him for that one. <laughs> and he knew. I mean, I think he knew because he, you know, apologised. I saw it at full time. Uh, we're going about full time. He will do. He will do, mate. Because you know, you know what he's like. He's a very, he's a very passionate player. He wears his heart on his sleeve. You can see it when we score and when we win. He's so, he's so emotional and so um, involved with, you know, with the club. So I, c I can give him that one. Mm -hmm. I can give him that one. But it weren't just, you know, it weren't just him. And I think if Carlisle have had the shooting boots on, 
we'd have been three or four knocked down, it'd be game over after 10 minutes. But um, also going forward, it was so slow and pedestrian when it we were getting mm. into areas and too many touches in and around the box and not getting a cross in, giving ball away um, up top and just not not actually getting forward. I think we had two shots all half, both of them off target, well off target. Mm. It 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 were it were rubbish, mate. That's you know, let's call I mean, it what it was. It were absolutely garbage that first half. I mean, we had like sixty odd percent possession, which is fine, possession all day long, but stats is go you know, you know balling back in net. I mean a lot of backwards and sideways stuff again, Neil. Wasn't yeah, it? just well, I'm just gonna go on to that. Do you think Luke O'Connell will rush back too soon? Because it, it didn't it didn't seem a play in first half, but I'm thinking maybe he's just been off of, off sorts, but Collins, credit where credit's due, he made, two, he made two changes at half time. He obviously needed to make, but yeah, maybe he did rush him back to him, but you can forgive him that, Collins, because hmm. Luke is his best player, mate, and if he's got yeah. a chance of playing him, you know, Luca might have said he would fit when he was maybe just, just a little bit off and all that sort of stuff. You, know, you don't know what's happened, but hmm. he did the right thing by trying to play him in a really, really important game. Although it was second bottom, it was game in hand on the rest of them, yeah. apart from Bolton. And it was a chance to get closer to the to, to you know to, to Peterborough in second and Derby and, and all them. So um yeah, he tried to make the right decision, didn't he? And, and, and obviously he's gone off at half time. He's obviously because he, he weren't playing poor, he weren't playing brilliantly, but he weren't playing he weren't playing that poor that he needed to be substituted. So he must the, the injury must have must have must have felt it and obviously got a big game Stevenage, so he did he mm. did what he needed to do. And actually the substitutions worked out I thought they worked really well yeah I mean I was particularly impressed with Carroll when he came on as well I think yeah. he, I think he offered a lot more down that left left wing uh than Styles did if I'm being honest I was yeah. surprised that Styles got moved into midfield I'm thinking again it's not a player that I don't know I, I just don't I, I just can't put my finger on it with, with Styles at the minute um but Cadden and Varum was going about saying, "Oh, kind of should have got man at match, even though he'd come, you know, come on at uh, half time." McAtee, I think he was ruining his socks into ground yet again. Yeah. Um, but again, like we just been on about the substitution did make a difference, and we eventually got back into it. Um, and I think as the game went further on, I were hoping that we we're going to create something, but it just seemed to be a frustrating. For me, a frustrated second half for what huffing and puffing and not really getting getting anywhere a lot of the time. Like I said, that final third, it will be a bit more clinical, a bit more get some crosses whipped in and that. Barry, Barry Cox, yeah. his throws for me made some like literally like three kicks. His throws, yeah, yeah. He's, <clears> when, <throat> he comes, when he plays well, Barry is 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 a good he's a good player, mate. And he's you know he he, he was trying to again. Sometimes it worked working for him, but what you'll find with Cotter is. You know, when he's poor, he is poor, like, but also when he's good, it, it can be really, really effective because he's trying to make things happen. Mm. He's fast, he's quick, he's he's in and out, he's trying to, you know what I mean? He's trying to take he's trying to take the uh, defenders on and get a cross in front back, and he's got like a missile like throw. So, you know, as a as a as a sub coming on, he's a, he's a, he can be a really useful player. And he, and he and he played well the other night. He did, he come on and he and he, and he made a difference down that right hand side. Uh, and and certainly Cadden down that left again. The two different players they play that position quite differently to Styles and and and, and Nicky, you know, Nicky Cadden. I think Cadden's a lot more. He might get ball away a little bit more, but he's always again a bit like Cotter. He's always trying to try. He's trying to get round that back man mm. in it, mm. trying to whip a ball in, mm. which makes it exciting. And I thought again when he come on, he, he made a real. He, he, you know, he did he did make a difference and fair play to to Collins because it would a it would a big call taking off Luke Connell. Yeah, it was a big call at one nil down. You know, a lot of people were an out in the crowd. Like, what has he done there? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But it paid off. And where, whereas we weren't brilliant in second half, we were comfortably the better team and got got you know we got the job we got the job done, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, Devante call another goal to his <clears throat> his tally. Probably another couple hundred thousand pounds top his, you know, That's on exactly his uh, valuation because <laughs> they're interesting. It's interesting to see uh, Liam Rossini come out and said that he's yeah, he really had much about it. But when you look at newspaper rumblings, I think both three clubs are interested, rumoured to be interested. Sorry. Yeah, it's oh, he's, 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 he's going to be interested. Started. He's top scorer in the league, mate. He's top scorer in the league. But we we know Devante's issues. We watch him week in, week out, where, you know, if he doesn't score, he's, he's he doesn't offer anything else, really. 
uh, he doesn't use his pace enough for me because when he when he uses it, he's like he's ballistic and he's just mm. so dangerous when he uses his pace. If he used it more, more often, it just it'd, it'd be a wonderful play, you know. And but he's you can't argue with his goal scoring tally this season. He's got sixteen, so if he only he's got one more goal and he scored all last season. We're only in January, yeah. yeah. And it was a great finish as well. It was a really really good finish because he hit tight angle and he's threaded it right. We we're right, I'm right behind it, maybe in, in our four in Ponte. Mm. And just seen it absolutely threaded like a needle. It's the only place he could have put it. Mm. And he put it hard and fast and in that bottom corner. So it was a great finish. Yeah, great finish. And from then on, I thought, let's keep going, which, you know, fair play we did. I thought we yeah. were more of an attacking threat. And a penalty. And some people said, oh, it won't penalty and that. But at the end of the day, five minutes to go, we finally, so we've come back. We've got a penalty, you know, we're ticking out boxes yet again. Mm. You could have gone back probably a month or two and we'd been like, we wouldn't have come back and we wouldn't have got a penalty. So yeah. we've kind of like done back double voodoo in one, in one game there. Herbie uh, Kane stepped up. Uh, yeah. To be fair, it's straight down middle. Straight down middle, mate. Takes confidence that, mate. Takes confidence that. Because I think he's, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I play goalkeeper, mate. I'm, I'm no striker. Um, I, I don't know if he's just wait. They just wait to see if they just have a quick look and see if goalkeeper's going. And if he's going, then just put it straight out middle or, you know, just maybe a little bit to the other side or whatever. But end of the day, he's, he's, he's slammed it in confidently. And he, I think he has been our penalty taker, hasn't he? For the mm -hmm. majority of the time when we've got him. So I think just leave leave Herb, leave Herbie on him, if, he, if he's still with us, of course. But yeah, um, I thought Herbie came were a lot, lot better in the second half. I thought first half he would give it ball away a bit too much, but I thought second half he played really well. Um, Some people said he what uh, deserved lit man at match uh, in in um, and back light uh, became. Yeah, yeah. Well, I won't, I won't, I won't argue with that too much. I know they said it with Nicky Cadden, mm. a bit unfair on Nicky because he had only been on half and there were a bit of grumblings in crowd. He did yeah, actually play yeah, well, Nicky, but he was only on, he was only on for half, wasn't he? So, yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, yeah. Another another comeback win, mate. I think I think we've I think we've buried that little. Um, you know that issue that we had of not being able to come back. We've, we've nailed that now. We've that's three that's three games in recent in recent times where we've where we've um, we've come, done a comeback win. I think we've we've whatever mental blockage we had with that, we've we seem to have overcome it. On about that mental blockage, it's just like it's like the team have got more self belief now, and it's like what some people have been saying. We haven't play, played brilliantly, but we've come away with a win. And yeah. if you if you're managing to do that, then you must be doing something right. Which, yeah, I take that on board. And it's like what you said, Via. The 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 tip that off across for that away, and it's like now. What it, what impresses me is that we never never I must have never get up before, but certain heads dropped. Now this it seems like game a kick up backside like Cody or Keith over there. It like it spur you on, keep, keep going, keep going, and then keep going. Yeah, you can see. You, I, I see McAtee doing it, me. Yeah, I see McAtee doing it, and I, I noticed him do it when when we went two one up against Bristol the other day. It, mm. He went around the all saying, "Get your head on, get your head yeah. on, yeah, get your head back on. Let's go two one. Let's get your head back on. Don't let you know what I mean. I like that. That's, that shows a lot of team spirit. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, good. In the end, mate, it weren't it weren't the most interesting of evenings, but. Most important thing is we get we get we get we get the three points and we and we stay within touching distance of the of the automatics. Yeah. So that what came our game just before we close that off. Uh, it was great to see you on fifty ninth minute for Dave Wilkes around uh, yeah, you know, round the applause minute, and yeah. that. So that that was a good send off and that. And uh, Neil Parker put also put on Twitter. Uh, thanks for everybody what uh, contributed to that. It meant a lot. So uh, yeah, that was a touching touching gesture. So like we said, it was two in one show. Big game coming up on uh, Saturday, Ryan Stevenage. Uh, yeah, we know kind of you know a quick turn around. This we played them at home a couple of weeks ago. Nights away, Stevenage. Uh, big game. This big game. Yeah, uh, big game, man. Yeah. Again, how do you see this one going? You know, any change to oh, line up? It'll be tight, mate. I think. I think. Oh, but I don't think Donovan Pines is going to be quite ready. Oh, as much as I'd like to see him mm. um, in back three. But I'd, I'd probably leave it as it what I may caddying in for Styles. Um, if we can't see, would you put him in for hopefully Lucas, hopefully, Lucas fit to play. So, um, you know, yeah, because I, like I said, I think we're a strong side that we started the other night. But I'd probably bring caddying in for Styles on, at, at left at left wing back. 
Would you have McCarthy in for she Shepherd if he's fit? Oh, if he's oh yeah, definitely if he's fit. Yeah, not not yeah. not 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 terrible to Jack, but he's not. We we need we need we need an experienced dead back in there. You could see that from other days. So yeah, I think if we can get if McCarthy's fit, then definitely. Yeah, I think we need um, that. Mate. Like I said, Evans is going to be riled up for this, isn't he? With comments where he came out with when we played it oh, well kind of thing. Right, well, it's it's a big game, isn't it? But that's why people get emotional. It's a big game like that. People get. Emotional, and um, I just think um, it's going to be tight. They've been really strong at home, Stevenage. Yeah, they're going to be up for. They know the importance of this game. The three points behind us, they want. They'll want to. You know, it's going to be a really big game. We cannot play like we did in that first half, or, or some of the defensive. You know, in the last two games against Bristol and against Carlisle, yes, the defense has been a little bit shaky this season. It's been it's been a little bit. Shakier this season, and I think that's just because we're comparing to last season when it was so good. You know, mm -hmm. we had the best defensive league by by a mile. We had a we had a Premier League defender and two and two top Championship defenders playing in League One. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's how good it was last season. And I think just this season's just not been quite as good. And it, it, it's you know, I think that maybe they've had a bit of an unfair comparison because they're not quite as good as those. And we have looked a bit shaky at times, but the last two games. Oh my goodness! You know what I mean? It's just unbelievable, mate. The amount of mistakes that we've made trying to pass out of the back. What you know, would you put down to all, that, of, all of Carlisle's chances and literally all of Bristol's chances were created by our mistakes in his defensive third in the last two games. So we what need would, to rectify that sharpish. What would you put back down to then? Because we've had like a break, didn't we, for a bit? We obviously, you know, FA Cup weekend and that. What I mean is it? I won't say it's complacency, but is it just? Uh, I'm not I'm sure. Not, mate. Is it a confidence thing? Is is is, is, is it? I get where you're coming from with that because there has been some basic stuff been going off, haven't there? You know what I mean? But Just keep going, mate. Basic it passing like out, back, not but... and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I think I think the difference between the two in the two games is the fact that Jack Shepard's played instead of Jamie McCart. But I don't want to point the finger solely at him because I think Miles DeGibney has been off in the last two games. Mm. I think he's been mm. a little bit off in the last two games, and he's been. Pretty much a star performer in that back three for all for the teams, and so I think when when he's been off, maybe it shows how much he's been, how influential, and how much he's been mopping up for the rest of them when he's when he's been performing. All the red is slightly well, off, yeah. like I said, he kept falling. He's, he's been he's just been falling over left, right, and centre. So maybe that were it, but I don't know. But you could see Collins going barmy again on 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 yeah. on Tuesday night, going absolutely <laughs> crackers with his team. So he ain't telling them to play like that. No, no. But they are playing like that. <laughs> It's, mm. I don't know. I don't know if it's just nerves or what, mate. But we um, we need to rectify it for these next two games because you know, as defense isn't as good as last season, but we can't we can't drop to those levels that we've that's, that that we've had in the last two games. I know I know we've won them, um, which is great. But you know, but I think it's clear to see the defensive errors that have been in the last two games. We can't afford to do that against Stevenage in Oxford because we'll get we'll get thumped. I know Pines is like probably going to play, you know, probably about another week or so out because he's got to visa the shoes and yeah. play some match time. Would you still be tempted to go in market for another centre back? Bearing in mind, such a shepherd, maybe. I mean, um, it won't that long maybe. since we alone moved to Doncaster over shepherd. So, yeah, it won't, mate. If, I mean, if he does, then yeah, definitely. Because we've got cover at centre, haven't we? We're we Lopatar yeah. for, for, for De Givney, and then we've got right centre back. We've got we've got Williams that can go there if all happens to Pines. Um, and we've got shepherd for we've got she a minute we've got shepherd there, so maybe may another left side centre back, but I don't think we're going to have one that's going to come in. And be a first team player be just because we've kept Jamie McCart from from mm. from from Rotherham and he's he, you know he's been there most of the season so mm. uh, may, maybe mate yeah maybe yeah just thinking like second half of the season I know we've got like Dodgson went back because he played against do, 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 Peterborough and to yeah. be fair when I saw him I'm like oh but it didn't too bad if I'm being honest against Peterborough mm. but I'm thinking second half of the season if you know and I don't want to be you know, too hard on Shepard because he he came in that position by I think if Doshin had still been here, he, he wouldn't have been in in, in setup. Yeah. I mean, that's clear to see. He's certainly been thrust in there, mate, and he, and he's yeah. good. He's good experience for lad. Like I said, I think he's going to be a really good a really good centre back for Barnsley. I think he's going to be a bit of a stalwart. Like he because he, he, he seems to have everything. He's got physical attributes. He can. He's got pace. He likes to take the ball out. You know, I mean, he, he gets up and wins a lot. He gets up and wins a lot of headers. He puts his body on line. I think he's 
going to be a really good player. He's just got it's just that little bit lack of experience when mm-hmm. when you're under pressure, which mm-hmm. showed which showed in spades on, on on Tuesday night, unfortunately. But that's you know that's all part of the learning process, isn't it? And I think he's going to be a cracking player for us. But I just don't think he's just quite ready for the first team full time mm-hmm. yet. Yeah, I think if we could, I mean, you don't know. There's still uh, time yet. I think a lot depending elsewhere in, in squad players uh, possibly going or coming in. But I think me, I'd be looking at another centre back if possible. We maybe already are. Uh, what could play either centre or more left sided? So you've got that bit of cover. Uh, yeah. Just in case of the injuries, because you're looking in like January, February, it's like more or less Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday coming up. So there's you know, could be potentially a lot of it, you know, I'm hoping there's not, but uh, we had Niggle, we've seen it with Luke O'Connell, we've seen it with, uh, with McCart, yeah. and we don't want someone like that to scupper his chances, because we've got some big boys coming up, uh, like we said, we've got Oxford, we've got Derby coming up, Bolton, mm-hmm. there's going to be some testing games coming up in next ne- uh, next month or two, so, yeah. having said that about the starting, you know, starting 11 on, uh, on Saturday against uh, Stevenage, We've got to set off from traps, haven't we? And we've got to implement our game and take take yeah. game to them, not sit back. I think I think Stevenage, Stevenage are an attacking team, aren't they? They play some nice football. So I've said it before. I think that lends itself to a to to a, to a good game of football and and it helps us to play our you know our more natural game, if you like, um, instead of them sat back and trying to work trying to work it out and slowing the game up. So. Yeah, we've got we've got to come out of traps, mate. We're, um, we've just got to eradicate. I think if we just eradicate the vast majority of those silly errors in defence, I think we'll, we'll, we can we can definitely go on and win game. It'll be tight. It won't be it won't be a big scoreline. Mm. Um, so score um, prediction: two one Barnsley. Two one Barnsley. I'm going to say the same. Uh, I, and basically, just because I think there's like. Be, be, be liable to concede a goal. It'd be nice to take back over Voodoo off come weekend and say 2 0 and have a clean sheet. Yeah, the good side though, Stephen, is out there, especially at yeah. home. They're a good side, mate. They play some nice football. They've got really attacking, they've got a really attacking uh, front line. They get the, you know, Steve Evans, is, as much of as outspoken he can be, he's a really decent manager. He's, really, yeah. he's very experienced, really decent manager. He does well with smaller teams. So he's, he's, he's going to be a tough game, mate. But you know, it could quite easily go either way, if I'm being honest. Mm. Um, but it's such an important game because we can get six points clear of Steven his can't we? And, and really sort of solidify his place in playoffs. So, um, I mean, a draw wouldn't be a terrible result. It mm. wouldn't be a terrible result. Um, but I'd much prefer the win. But if we play out, I think if we play out like we did against a certain parts, I'm not going to say all the game against Bristol and, and Carlisle because certain parts we were good. Um I think if we play out like that, I think Stephen is will punish us, mate. So yeah. we have to be we have to be ship shape. Ship shape and ready to go against uh, tough Stevenish side under uh, Evans, because like you just said, touched on there, what he's done at Stevenage with budget, what he's got. I think he's with miracles. Yeah, he's uh, brilliant, man. Player player to Stevenage and he's a divisive character in here, a lot of people because he's because he's quite outspoken and he yeah. is what he is, but he's very good at what he does, mate. So yeah, you can't take that away from him. Um be the tight, Ryan. Appreciate you taking your time out, mate. Covered uh, Carlisle well. game and Stevenage. We've both gone for Barnes and wins against Stevenage. I'll be well, it can get a bit warmer. I think this is going to be a bit warmer come weekend. <laughs> like these sub zero temperatures up in north. Uh, so, yeah, uh, going to Stevenage. Safe journey. Safe journey back. Get back to South Yorkshire. I'll be well. We win. We'll take that all day long. A draw's not a bad result, but we'll take a win. Like what Ryan said there. Get back uh, gap and move on to Oxford. So, it'd be a tough one. So, as always, Please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your comments about stuff, what's going off. One thing I have to say, you're ready.